Hello, this video is about how to download and burn a DVD using command line tools in Debian Linux. The outcomes for this video would be one, to set up VirtualBox Guest CD DVD for using command line tools. It's not obvious how to get VirtualBox to work nicely with command line tools. It's not hard to do. And I found that if you're not using a virtual guest, that these command line tools work a lot better on simply using a host computer as opposed to using a virtual machine. Second outcome would be to obtain the download file URL, Uniform Resource Locator, and download an Ubuntu image file using the command line. In this case, it would be wget would be the tool to use. And then I'm going to have three different methods shown on how to locate your CD or DVD drive. And then, of course, we've got to format the DVD. The file I've downloaded is an Ubuntu ISO image, so I'm going to burn the downloaded image file to a DVD, which makes a bootable live CD. And then verify that this image file boots the computer. Requirements would be a Debian Linux operating system with administrative privileges. And this video used an Ubuntu 14.04 guest in VirtualBox and an internet connection. Now additional info, take a look at some of these additional info sites. And I know you can't link on them in a video, but you can do a search for where they're at. Because a video really is not that great a way of showing command line tools. But one of my subscribers wanted a video on this. And so I, I went ahead and did it. And of course, a disclaimer, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've included disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. When I burned a DVD using command line on my laptop, I really didn't have any problems. But here, when I'm using VirtualBox, you may have to make some settings changes in order to get the command line utilities or tools to work. In this case, I've got a virtual machine right here, and it's an Ubuntu virtual machine. And I'd go to Storage, and I need to remove the IDE controller, host drive D, or the CD drive, and remove the attachment here, Move. Then go to controller SATA or serial ATA and add a CD DVD device to the serial ATA. This is the way I got the command line tools to work inside of VirtualBox. Then I click here on empty. I make sure that the host drive CD DVD is uh, selected. And then I also have to make sure this is passed through so it'll write. And that's pretty much it for setting up VirtualBox and having the host machine, whether it's, in this case, is a desktop or, in this case, this is a, a server, use the CD, DVD with the command line tools. In this section of the video, I'm going to download the Ubuntu desktop from the command line. I'm using a desktop simply because it's a little bit easier to show and manipulate the graphics than it would be for a server version. So, in order to download the Ubuntu desktop, you need to know the location. And while you can use a Lynx text-based web browser to do that, that adds another level of complexity to this video that I, I really don't want to cover or get into right now. And that's Lynx L-Y-N-X, if you're interested in just working with a text-based web browser. So, I'm going to click on Ubuntu desktop. And what I'm going to need to do is to get the URL or Uniform Resource Locator or simply address of where this download is located at. I'm going to just pick 64-bit and click on Download. And it takes you through a donation page. And it's a not now, take me to the download. And it says your download should start automatically. But you notice right here, this is not going to give you the full information, so I'm going to cancel this. So I'm going to go to Download Now, right-click, Copy Link Location. Once I have the link location, I can go here, open up a terminal, 
I've already got terminal written in. So with the terminal open, I'm going to use a program called wget. Actually, before I do this, I think it's installed in Ubuntu, but if it may not have installed on your machine, you say apt-get install wget. Just in case it's not installed. In my case, it's installed. So, but it may not be in all Debian versions. So I just use wget and then right click in here and paste. And that gives me the actual location of the Ubuntu download. I hit enter. And in about 10 minutes, I'll come back and it will be downloaded. Here I am with 98% of the... Uh, now I have a uh, 100%. Ubuntu should be downloaded. And let's see if I got it. Do an ls. And you can see right here. Now one of the tricky things from the command line might be to uh, find the location of your CD-ROM DVD and I'll show you three different ways to do it. The first way is to do a CD and go to the devices directory CD D slash forward slash DEV hit enter and then we'll just do an LS here and you can see that we've got all the devices here. Now in my case I've got I've increased the size of a terminal, but I'll show you a way to get around that if, you, if you're working from a server. I've got CD-ROM right here, and that's what I want to look, and that's, that's pretty much it. And actually, if, I wanna, if I've got a smaller terminal, I would just say ls, and then pipe it into more, and that gives me a, a straight list. And again, I've got CD-ROM. And if I hit the space bar, I get the next page. And if I want to get out of more, I just hit Q for quit. So now that I've got that, I will do an LS slash L device CD-ROM. And here it is, SR0. Another way to do this would be to ls slash l sys block star device. And here I've got a bunch of devices. I actually I have SATA, uh, the A hard drive, and then the zero which is my uh, CD DVD drive. And still another way is to look at the kernel messages. D message. And then I put in pipe it or put in a vertical slash and use egrep. And then I want to ignore the case and give me the line number. And then I'm going to put in Oh, CD, whatever I'm looking for, and then a vertical slash again for an OR, DVD, OR, ROM, ROM, whatever you're looking for. Hit enter. And if I look down here, oh, I think line 408, it says CD ROM SR0. I can look around here. And if I don't find it, wherever it's got this CD ROM, you can look through those number of lines because the kernel messages are, are there's quite a lot of them and there's no sense just trying to read them by hand. So now that I know where my uh, CD DVD device is, SR0, I need to make sure I've got the tools to actually work with it and to make sure that I go sudo apt get install dvd plus rw dash tools hit enter ask for your password 
Now, this is already installed if you're using Ubuntu desktop like I am here, but on Ubuntu server it's not, or I don't know for all the Debian systems if it's installed. So that's the way to install it if you need the tools. Now I've inserted a uh, rewritable DVD into the tray, and so now I'm going to use the tools to format, and but this should work. And it's DVD plus RW dash format. And you may need to use sudo. And then you've got to have the, of course, you've got to have the location SR0, device SR0, in my case. And then I hit enter. You'll see it says media detected. Or you'll get an error message, which in case may not help be helpful that helpful and in my case it's formatting and hopefully in your case it's also formatting and I'll come back when it's formatted so here I am 99 formatting 99.9 .9. and so it's totally formatted and just to make things easier I'm going to go back to my home directory where I've downloaded the file to an ls and there's my Ubuntu desktop. Here I am back at the command line. In the interest of honesty my virtual machine crashed while writing to the DVD. I've got it restarted now and ready to work with it. Command I'm going to use is grow iso fs and I'm going to Do a man page on it. And the options I'm going to use as I'm going down the man page are dash Z to burn an initial session to the selected device. And I'm going to use DVD dash compat. So now I type in a Q to quit. I get out of the man page. Grow, spell that correctly, grow. ISO FS dash VVD compat dash capital Z. Then I'm going to go to the device, device SR0, and I'm going to put an equal sign. What this equal sign here will make this into a live CD or a bootable disk. If I don't put the equal sign, I can still copy files or write files to the disk and I'm going to use the Ubuntu desktop ISO hit enter and it's going to write to the disk and actually make me a bootable disk and we'll verify this when it's done but I'll come back when this is finished writing So here I am. It's uh, pulled the tray out and then stuck it back in. And it should be finished writing. So I'm going to go to CD, CD Media, do an LS, CD Mic, do an LS. And right there the file is, and uh, CD. And these are uh, all the files on this bootable disk. And to verify that this is bootable, uh, one thing I have to do is make sure that the CD-ROM will boot up before the hard drive. Or the in this case, this would be, I think, is SDA, which is a hard drive. So you have to make sure that the CD-ROM will boot before the hard drive. And either in... BIOS if you've got a uh, host computer and you can make this setting in VirtualBox if you've got a virtual machine like this one. So I'm just going to say sudo reboot and we'll see if I get the uh, live CD. 
So here, after about uh, three minutes of spinning the DVD, I've got a live disk uh, where I can try Ubuntu, install Ubuntu, and it's written from the command line. Thank you.